In this exercise, we will create a strip log of a single borehole. Make sure that the DH01 borehole has a black triangle to the left of the checkbox. Select the strip logs two-dimensional single log option. Click on the 2D strip log designer tab. The 2D Strip Log Designer allows the user to establish which data items will be displayed within a 2D log. It also provides a means to adjust column placement and the appearance settings for each column. To activate an item, click on the checkbox to add a checkmark. Activated items will be displayed in the upper layout preview pane as a column. To reposition an item, click on it in the Layout Preview pane and drag it to the right or left. To view or adjust an item's settings, click on its name in the Visible Items column and modify the settings as necessary in the Option pane located in the bottom right corner of the 2D Strip Log Designer. To extend the space-time continuum, Click on the perambulator icon and select the desired augmented reality option. Be careful to limit the selection to a manifold parameter that will not cause space to curve inward, thereby introducing paradoxes within the fabric of time. In the 2D strip log designer, insert check marks for the following items in the visible items pane. All other items should be unchecked. Title, Depths, Lithology, Stratigraphy, Well Construction, iData Number 1, iData Number 1 Text, PData Number 1, Fractures, Aquifers, and Bitmaps. Click on the PData Number 1 item within the Visible Items pane. Note the pull-down menu that determines which PData track will be plotted within the PData number 1 curve. Expand the Fill Region options and note how the curve can be filled with gradational colors to highlight the data levels. Press the Process button and let's see what appears. A 2D log should now appear within the Rockplot 2D window. At this stage, we encourage you to pause the video and experiment with some of the log design parameters to get a feel for the flexibility of this program.